So talk to me about um, the financials. So how do the financials work? You uh, produce a song, and then you produce a record. Okay. Let's talk about the distribution, those costs, how the money comes in, those costs, how you distribute the money to your artists. Talk to me a little bit, whatever you're comfortable with. Talk to me about that. Well, I'm comfortable with anything, you know. Okay. Okay. But uh, the way, the way I distribute uh, the funds through the artists, mm -hmm. it's similar to how a record label does. If I'm paying for studio time, if I'm paying for videos, if I'm paying for everything, then I have to recoup that. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But the way I recoup it, just say, if you're just an artist and you don't put nothing up, mm -hmm. you know, I give an artist an option for a 50-50 split. If you come to me with music and money, then I'll put in half of your half, and then I'll put it out, and we're going to both make the same amount of money. Mm -hmm. If you come to me with songs and ideas, and I got to put my back in, then I'm taking 75. It's only fair. I'm giving you the 25, mm -hmm. you know, because I got songs that I could be giving my songs beats that I'm giving you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, it just depends on how much I have to put into it, you know? So, and to say that the era that we're in now, you have to make hot songs for the simple fact that a person can download one song off your album and never buy nothing else. So why make an album with only one hot song in the era of iTunes where people can listen to 30 seconds of a song and say, I like that song, buy it, and leave the rest of the album alone. See, the catcher is you want to put 12 to 15, 20 songs on an album and make it so hot that they're better off buying the album. Because if they try to buy one song at a time, you're going to spend $12 for the CD or $15 for the CD or $20, depending on how many songs is on there. So you're better off spending $9.99. As far as district uh, manufacturing, my first three albums, we put this out. Anyway, it's gonna kind of dark. Mm -hmm. well, after you answer this question. Okay, after this question, you're there. Okay. So, um, distribution. Okay, distribution and manufacturing. My first three albums are printed up. Yourself. Your own not me, like in the in the room with a printer. No, I mean, it's not. <laughs> I mean, because some people do that. You know, they write, you know, the funk flex, and then they, you know, with the little sharpie. I see. You know, you got that. Hey, hey, support three dollars. You know. No, I'm talking about printed up, manufactured, design, barcode, pictures, words to the songs, who produced it, I mean the whole mm -hmm. inserts. Mm -hmm. And um, I did three albums that way. And and they worked out, you know, but it's 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 a it's it's a lot of overhead. Right. You know. So in the era that we in now you got iPods, iPads, touch, you know, MP three players, you know, not many people are using CDs. CDs are like the new LPs. You know, everybody got an eye touch. Everybody using that on the headphones and going to the gym. Mm -hmm. So they're downloading music from their computer. They're downloading from sites. So I put the music for digital distribution only. Okay. You know what I mean? So we won't find your CDs in stores? You'll find my CD in stores if you order it. Okay. So just say you go to, I mean, first you got to find a store. <laughs> All the record stores are closed. You feel me? Because yeah. that's how far and deep the game is right now. Mm -hmm. So if you find a store, you can go there and say, you know, I want Disaster CD. And then they'll say, well, who is Disaster? And you say, well, Disaster. And if type it in. And then they'll say, okay, well, how you spell it? And you spell it D-I-Z-A-Z-T-A. First thing they'll do is Google it. And then it'll pop up. And they say, okay, it is an album. Okay, so then now they'll check their distributors, whether it's Super Dave or Super D or you know black box or these are all distributors mm -hmm. that actually distribute physical cds into your store mm -hmm. okay so they'll go through their list and they'll say okay boom super d has it so they'll say click 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 okay order it depending on the record store they may make you put a deposit on it or they'll say come back tomorrow I see. and then you'll come back and it'll be there in the physical store Okay. You know, because it costs to have your stuff inside of the store. Right. So I'd rather you, I know you want it before it's sent to the store. Got it. 